Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, I'm going to tell you about a very useful extension for Visual Studio Code. I'm talking about the Peacock. First, I will tell you about this. As I have written right here, this will change the color of your Visual Studio workspace. Suppose you are working with the multiple VS Code instances. With the help of this plugin, you can set different color for each one so that you can easily differentiate among multiple VS Code instances. I will show you the demo right here. See this running demo. Right now, these are three independent instances of Visual Studio Code. In each one, I have created one project. So simultaneously, I was working on three projects. So I have given a different color to each one. Now we will see the installation and use. This is very easy. We can easily install and use it. Let's get started. So this is the Visual Studio Code. At this place, just click on this gear icon. This pop-up will open. Select extensions. On the left hand side, you will see lot of extensions, but on the top you have search box. Just type Peacock. So you will see very first option. So the first just select it on the right hand side you will see green install button just click on it within second this will be installed on your machine and this is ready for use now we will see how to use it this is very simple as i have told you this peacock color option will be enabled only on the workspace so you have to create a project so first i will go to the view then command palette and here I will type Java create Java project so uh, first I will create the Java project then the workspace will be set up only then we will be able to change that color so I am going to create one Java project right here right now only selecting the uh, folder for the project and now I'm giving the name of the sample project here we go project is set up now we can apply the particular color to this workspace. Okay, to do that, again go to the view option, click on the command palette. Now this box will appear. Here you will have to type peacock. Then you will see the second option, change to favorite color, just click on it. And you will see the multiple color options. This is angular red, azure blue, javascript yellow, mandalorian blue, node green, react blue, something different. This is like pinky and orange color, really awesome. So we have multiple choices for our multiple Visual Studio instances. Now I'm opening another window, so I will apply a different color on it. So suppose you are working on uh, second project simultaneously and you want to set a different color so we will proceed on the same way to apply the color on this visual studio window so i'm doing the same activity for creating a new project in this workspace here we go for the java project 2 and the when when the project is ready in this workspace so we can easily change the color of this workspace the same steps we have to follow go to the view go to the command palette and just type peacock then I'll select the option change to favorite color and select any different color from the previous one here we go this is set now now you can open the new instance this way as well go to the file menu select new windows and here you can create new project as well or you can work on different project as well also you can set the particular different color to this window as well here we go for the third project and the same way we have to go to the view then command palette then just type peacock select favorite color and uh, this option window will appear you can select any one of color of your choice so we have uh, these three windows with three different colors, light blue, yellow, and orange. So look at all these windows. They are looking really awesome. 
Now you can easily differentiate between your projects on which window you was working on which project. That's so cool. Now I will show you how to reset to a default color. This is most important thing. If you don't want any color, you have to perform simple step. Go to the view, go to the command palette. Here you have to type simple peacock reset workspace colors. The option you have to click on it. Just click it and then your workspace will reset to your default color which is black. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please like this tutorial and please subscribe my channel. And guys for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.